I've had experience over the last number of years of dealing with controversial issues with teachers uh, through my work with the Education for Reconciliation project. Because teachers are teaching in a very definite uh, social and community context, uh, many of their students may have come from families or come from communities where there are particular views and perceptions of what has happened in Northern Ireland over the last 40 years. So for teachers teaching a divided histories or a history in the time of a post-conflict society, it's very important for them to think about their, their context and to look at the uh, type of student who is sitting in their classroom. Some teachers uh, might fear that there could be a reaction from parents uh, about the areas that they're teaching about uh, and that parents mightn't want their, their children to be discussing issues from different perspectives. They might want their own perspective on, on a situation or an event to be uh, supported. Sometimes teachers might feel that uh, their own personal experiences make this a very difficult issue for them to tackle with students. So for, for very many reasons teachers um, I think recognise that there is a need for support in teaching about issues that could be controversial or events that could be controversial or trying to broaden students perspectives. I think the teachers who have been provided with training have over the years begun to feel much more confident about teaching controversial issues and teaching anything around divided societies in their classrooms and they do it with confidence. But we have a large number of teachers still out there who have not had that sort of training, I don't think, in possibly in their initial teacher education um, and therefore as a result of that those teachers still require the training to help support them. With regards to contentious issues, the Teaching Divided History Resources is a fantastic way into dealing with um, problems within the community. It allows the students to see the story from both sides. The videos, the images, all allow the students and the teacher to decide which side of the argument that they want to focus on. And when they focus on both sides of the argument, it allows students to see from one side of the community what the other side of the community was experiencing at that time and vice versa. So as an individual resource it's a fantastic way to deal with something which can be quite difficult in some areas. Knowing about the conflict it is still really important in Northern Ireland to know about other people's backgrounds and our backgrounds and what the differences really are. I think it's very important that we learn about the history of Northern Ireland and the conflict because it gives us more of an understanding of where we live and what things went on and happened to get us to where we are today. So in terms of methodologies there are a number of approaches that teachers can use. One of the key uh, rules I suppose if you like to call it that um, which has been incorporated into the civil rights module and the teaching divided histories resource is that uh, small group work is always a safer option than using a whole class discussion. Within a whole class discussion it, it's very easy for one student or a number of students to feel intimidated by strongly expressed views by other students. It's much more difficult for a teacher to control that kind of a situation to keep all students safe. So the resource is, has um, a large amount of group discussion group tasks built into it which means that students are actually working and creating their own learning about it so they have an opportunity to then make up their own minds and uh, about the events that they they're learning about. I think the digital media um, activities contribute greatly to that because first of all they're an exciting activity for young people to do so they very quickly become engaged with them. Um, also it, the way the digital media activities are structured they enable students to explore their own interpretations of them and share that with their classmates. Some of the digital media activities can really help students uh, critically analyse what's happened, uh, look at different perspectives. Comic Life is an ideal software package for them to look at different perspectives, have different characters expressing different um, perceptions and different versions of what happened in an event. Mm -hmm.